GG.bet sends to give Ooh. Na'Vi the edge, and Flamey, he's going to get a lot of flashbangs thrown his way. Evasive for now. Perfecto tucking in anti-flash. It's Rez to behead the first, but they're into the nitty-gritty already. It's a two-frag lead for both. Boomich is going to have to play passive here. Bomb is on its way towards the site. Where's that rotate? They're all coming in heaven side. Oh. It's an unarmored Boomich. If Norg's good on this Ooh. catch, that's enough to get the bomb across. It's worked well. This patience, our threat is beaming ear to ear of the fact that these guys have had the presence of mind to play it like this. And now the retake's on. Nice info on the peak there. Hampus has seen at least two. And this is a shutdown. This is really good. Unless Simple can dig deep and do something dirty. And honestly, the way they're playing, no bullets. I don't know if they're going to let him. And yeah. Oh! oh! And now two left, maybe just enough bullets to do something, but I don't see a kit and I don't see one on the ground. Maybe I've missed it, but Run. that's it. Bullets to gun, switch up on the P250, done for. Hampus holds. Yeah, it's We've your knife, you. it looks nice. All right. Oh, oh, oh dear. That's a rush nade. I'm kidding. I, I'm just making stuff up. Looks um, uh, a little problematic if they commit to this because there is a stack of pistols. Lord, gotta feel like, that now, right? They've kind of sussed this one out. They can just sit at jail and duel. A little sketchy. I don't like it. Simple should get one hit if what Hampers wasn't so clean, and that is absolutely perfect. Four in the round. Umich is a responsive smoke, likely going to deploy that to isolate the site, isolate the jewels for Flamey's SMG. I imagine Umich might want to throw it now. What are you waiting for? 25. Yeah, now we'll drop it. Electronics already caught one, but the three are oh. ready to give it their best shot. It just crept to the site, Alex. They're there. How the hell did that happen? Just needs twist now. A potential plant. Simple, however, with the scout bomb to be retrieved. 10 seconds. A bomb plant is something. But look at Perfecto. He's charging. He even fakes it with eight seconds left. And that will convert. Well, now, guarded by Plopsky, Nork, Rez. They're all there. A flash in. He was going to respond in kind, I'd imagine. Oh, dear. A disaster for the ninjas in pajamas. A quick double. They line up. And the spray control was absolutely phenomenal. Simple can clean this now. He's going to sweep into Nork and okay, that frag keeps NIP in it. And if Electronic walks through the smoke, the patience is rewarded. Suddenly, they're back into the round here, Lauren. I question the need to peek long, but I guess he wanted to try and help out, deny the threat that was building. But now, as said, the 3v3. Boomich. No. Oh, no. That's, that's a tragedy. That's not a good one. That's a problem. Switch up on the old AWP. Low HP picks it up. Two kills. You've already done your value there, Hampus. Don't you worry. But now they hit the brakes for a second. They've got 37 seconds to make something out with. Molly goes in. Both players are on the site. Flamey's there. He gets up close. He's taken down two of the hardest hitters. Flamey fully blind. He's done well to get away. Hampus so low, the USP can do enough, and oh my goodness, just by a Nat's wing, they survive 15 HP between the two of them that remain. And Perfecto can finish this one off. The spray's not there. Nork, so precise. And that is a five versus, well, three, squandered by Na'Vi. They can get back into the game and start snowballing off of their individuals, but it's the B-Rush again. Straight in, and Perfecto spray gets completely whiffed. Flamey dunks. We've seen some great work from him on this position before, but he smoked off. And it's kind of ignoring him. What's going on there? Rez flipping around his nades. Now keeping the man advantage in favor of Na'Vi. Rotate coming in viciously. He hasn't seen anyone. He's waiting for the call. Hampus hiding with the bomb. It gets hunted and it works out. Hampus dunk down to 39. A dink as well. Twist eliminated. This round is... Not How is Hampus doing this? A lock-in. I don't understand. It felt like they had the, re the rotate and the info. And again, oh, here comes the pause. This is like the pistol all over again. I don't know if they're going to wane in their conviction. It looks like Electronics investigating. Whoa. But Nort could be on the case. And we've seen this gun looking like a shotgun rather than <gasps> all. That's a barrel and that's a body. And now Simple in the 1v2. Chance for the first and Nort knocked. 39 seconds. Hampus, he's done so much. He's got a smoke for bridge. Simple, oh. just nice straight through it. They're going to walk and meet. Simple doesn't have to sweat at all. What a perfect read in the star of Na'Vi. And now here, it's a bit different look from Na'Vi. Oh, wow. What? I can't believe Rez hit those shots. He was so wide. Does manage to go down to Simple all the same, though. Electronic trying to keep the wolf from the door. Nope, it's perfect. You're bang on, Chad. Won't be able to contest the plant, but he's very exposed on Twist Jiggle. These nades from Na'Vi have been fantastic, but the spray isn't. His teammate moves. He got the inaccuracy. 3v3 for the retake. 
Still game on here. Not much util to work with, and Twist taking down Electronic. It's looking pretty dead in the water here. Flamey and Perfecto hoping for something, but Hampus pushed up, being aggressive, playing almost contact on it. He is having a game and a half. These are valuable kills Hampus is in getting. And Flamey, what do you have left to do here? So he will do his best to hold on to this one, and he has some Kevlar behind it. But this is uh, the problem. Na'Vi not being able to put multiple rounds together. Flamey will be being, picking up this second AWP over towards the B side of things, and he didn't even get to shoot a shot. Twist takes him out of the equation early, and now, once again, NIP with an opening frag. Na'Vi on the back. Is that an AWP? Yeah. That was, that was the $7,000 of goodies just oh. squandered, and Perfecto's added to the list. Nork. Onto Perfecto, Boomich will recover. Perhaps it's not all in vain. Look at the aggressive stance from Electronic. No trade. He has to be a turret. And well, Hampus, we know what he's been capable of today. 16th frag found here in round 12 as they do make a beeline straight for the A site. The bomb very much behind. This could be a problem if Boomich can catch this, uh, who is it, twist. I'm getting nervous for him. Might want to try and back away. Yeah, he's thinking about it. <laughs> and now look at Rez. He ain't that far away either. Yeah, no. No, I didn't what even, didn't even get the Jaws theme going. He's already dead. Chad. Uh, it hasn't, oh. hasn't panned out that way. <laughs> uh, but NIP, with all these roster changes, was a team that I got really excited about, and I thought they could become a top five, top three team in the world. Yes, 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 yes. This is a chance for Rez here. A wide swing, a pre-fire, uh, but Nork walks straight into the pixels. Oh, okay. It's simple. Just making it look just that. Beautiful shots, locking down the long presence. Well, we've had it. We've had the need a bit of individual brilliance to win you around. There we go. We'll, we'll put a little tick in the box for Na'Vi. Uh, under the assumption that Twist and Plopsky don't do anything. I feel with Electronics positioning, Twist is dead. Unless something goes again terribly wrong. Doesn't. Nicely done. Plopsky can trade it out, but now the 1v4 begins. And, and a little, little cheeky nade, just to make it, make it trickier. Um, and obviously Simple standing there with 22 HP, even yeah, though it's low. Why is he standing there? He, I don't know, it's he, Simple. He knows he can click first. Yeah. Yeah, he does. It's nice to have that faith in yourself, I'm sure. Oh, the wow. boost is very naughty. Na'Vi, one of Simple the knows it! He's looking for it, and he sees the tip of his head. Hello? And he pulls the trigger, Nork dead. That's glorious. Of all the teams to do it against, it's one of the very few who did it first. Now Flamey eats a flash, perhaps to still bite in the NIP 20 seconds here. They won't be able to get it down. Simple, robotic in his adjustments. And it is four. Double kill again. You said multi-kills from Simple. Well, nades from NIP. How do they plan to structure this? There's plenty of time left on that clock, but they're going in relatively dry, and the SMG drives by. Simple. Oh, he could be in trouble. Down to nine. He is finished off, and all oh. electronic as Nork's connected on his dig. This chaos from NIP has converted into a potential round win. Only electronic to clutch. Okay. Oh. Oh, there was some venom in that though, wasn't there? For a second or two, it looked pretty deadly. But honestly, if NIP can do what they haven't been able to this year, and maybe even run into a series with it, it's Rez taking down the hardest hitter. Puts Michael Jordan on the bench for the pistol. Was that a it, team dink? It might have been. They could get trigger happy with this. Wait for it, wait for it. Biding their time, avoiding the molly. Now is the time. Pull the pins and electronic. In. Oh. Down to two HP, my God. It's something, and the round far from over, but they're low too. Hampus and Plopski gonna have to be the sacrificial lambs. These trades have to be so perfect from the CTs. You know that Plopski and Hampus are gonna fall at this point, but how do they do it, and does it set you up for success? No, oh! it absolutely doesn't. It's a huge shutdown. Perfecto, Electronic. So, Molotov out from Connector. That's gonna keep two players planted on the B site. With 35 seconds left, Navi can stay in limbo. Oh. Didn't see him twist. That was unfortunate. Just narrowly missing out on his window to punish. Now numbers favoring Na'Vi, and they can go anywhere they want. Smoke, Flash, Plopsky, and his partner in crime going to be at risk here. And he's so blind. He doesn't even get to pull oh. the trigger. Hampus had a chance. Not connected onto Electronic elsewhere. So now it's all onto him. And that rotates coming in thick and fast. Flamey close with the Mac 10. Nork just thinking better of it, realizing that that is too much of a risk and too prize of a possession. Let's not forget no armor. That Mac 10 could shred him, and he is going to potentially catch Flamey on that hunt. So that's a nice relief. An extra hundred bucks for him to uh, treat himself to something nice. EWP. You're not dropping anybody anything. Oh, I can't even drop your Deagle. 
actually see Rez meet Electronic here on a very solo adventure. Ah, yeah, yeah, he goes for it wide. Oh, Flamey. Flamey's been playing this area like, a, like an animal. It's actually been really, really hard for him to handle. Now, the issue being, obviously, is that bomb. Swing. So right now, Plopsky's the only one over towards this B-bomb site. The rotation will need to come in, and that smoke that we've just seen go over towards Monster was thrown by one of his teammates in CT spawn. But the two heavy hitters, Electronic and Simple, are out of the equation. Go. Flying through. Molotovs aren't too much of a problem. Plopsky gets it clean. Huge win. That was massive for him. They needed that because, honestly, Na'Vi have been scary, even in unfavorable scenarios. But the player's in the right place for once. Plopsky and Rez hold it down. With incendiaries and flashbangs, here they come. 30 seconds. Na'Vi, I'm getting hell? nervous. Boomich is going to have to make a call with conviction here. What year is this? Is this Na'Vi running the clock down low? And now you're going to see NIP on the push. I like that being proactive on Monster. Oh. Putting down the lines of sight and the lines of attack. And look at this. Dismantling Na'Vi. It felt like they've been so potent and powerful, but now they leave themselves 15 seconds. Oh. And they haven't stepped on the site, but now they do. It's lo it was simple and it was electronic. Now, unfortunately, only electronic. I don't know what he can do here. Nork's holding the cross and with shots like that, it's only going to be a consolation. He won't really have a chance to get away. Twist will finish him off. And Na'Vi bitten by that bad timing bug. Tuck into the corner. He's got game. Fortunately, he's lost Rez now. So this does start to favor Na'Vi here. A Flamey does a procedural clear. He gets caught and a real chance for Plopsky. He's trapped. He needs a headshot. Boomich and Perfecto hunting him down. He's got one bullet. One bullet in that M4. Yeah, I did reload as well. We're into a 3v3 here, but Hampus from behind could completely destabilize it all. Oh, his timing couldn't be better. That's bomb down, spots it. Probably knows there's more threats around. Does get simpled. I think there's no other way to put it. The man can just do it when he needs. Yeah. Now, Plopsky. So gets... Oh. <sighs> this is terrifying. I hate this round so much. His teammate Perfecto. They know Plopsky's on the flank. Twist is the unknown entity here, but Simple, he is sweeping through, and he wants another. This time, the Swede says no. Perfecto can ha have a chance at this clutch, but it's Plopsky he has to find first. He's being hunted from two different angles, and now he's taken them at the same time. That's 15 for NIP. Looks like they're about to break the streak. They're really happy to take this space early in the spray through the smoke. He's even got nades for them. Perfecto could be in trouble. He dunks him. Rez, that is impressive. Now they're opening. Two kills. They're three frags away from taking this map, Lauren. I don't know what's happened. I I know that there's still so much power on this Na'Vi side, and I, I'm i desperate to see it. And for the first half of the T side, it looked good. But look at these crossfires. Hampus just keeping Plopsky safe. As soon as Flamey wanted to punish over by Monster, leaving Electronic in a 1v4. We'll hit the brakes. And so poor old Electronic has to win this duel super clearly. There's the first jiggle. And look at... Oh, okay. Well handled. Good moves from Plopsky. But as he descends, Hampus was there. And Electronic continues By to show us why he is one of the stars of the Na'Vi show. Molly Barrels charging forward. Smoke for the cross. There's no one there. Electronic's playing a game here. He is playing a dangerous, deadly game. Now he has to plant. No two ways about it. They're closing in. And there it is, 16 to 9. Can you believe it? NIP looking deadlier than ever. A quick one here. Boomage out main. Molotov's already dropped. So looking to set a bit of a tone as the attack is over towards Ivy. Smoke's out late. Flash to follow. Oh, a lot to do here. And only the first. Looks like we've still got a good bit of bite in the Na'Vi roster. Twist has cut them down to size, though, and so poor old Boomich can't get the bomb down. Perfecto responsible for it. Plenty of time in this round, but these long fights do favor the USPs, Lauren. They certainly do, and I'm sure Boomich and co are well aware of it, trying to limit that distance, trying to pull it to a more manageable area, and Perfecto gets up close, and maybe he can do some damage he has. That's not bad, but look at the HP of Boomich. Yeah, problematic. If he can get this bomb down, now we're cooking. That CT smoke does mean he can push in, but they respect it. Na'Vi starting to be favored at this one. Perfecto with the P250 as well. Oh, Rez needs to find this one cleanly. They're running out of time. They're running out of time. That's the kit. And that should be the round twist. Getting just the one. It's not enough. It's insufficient. There is a not enough time. And he's so convinced that it's Bob Dog. He should have just gone down, but I'm afraid it's all five of each side collapsing at the end of that one. Well played by Na'Vi to turn that around. And, uh, eventually, I'll ask you the same question. I, I don't know how NIP look on this map that I asked kind of about overpass and Na'Vi. Ooh. That's nice, Rez. This Deagle 
He does seem to have an affinity for finding simple too, and he does it again. That's two big kills. And suddenly the others are quite split apart, quite sporadic in approach. This is a bit of a nightmare. Look where the bomb is too. Mazzy's early frags with that deagle really echoing through this. <laughs> Can't keep a straight face with his glasses on. <laughs> Electronic has got the frag. And Plopsky is going to go down as well. 3v3, but so damn low. Problematic. Bomb loose main, and they've known that the whole time. So Boomich on a retrieval mission. It should be impossible with an AK staring at it and with an aim like Rez. There it is. Nice work. That's three kills. This ain't bad. He's going to Ivy with Electronic. This is very interesting. Smoke will get them into the back lanes at least, but Hampus um, is here. If he just plays spoiler, look at the time. 25 seconds. Ah, that's a kill. Hello. That's a freebie. Probably didn't expect the other. He might have been curious as to why he was backing away, but no matter which way you want to cut it, 18 seconds ain't much to work with. Maybe not. Rez has arrived. Perfect timing. No but time, it no is time. a safe plant. 4.5. Oh. Aiming. It's an extra 800 for every member of Na'Vi. Smokes and Molotovs are plenty, and through Ivy they go. Just about going to go. There we are. Makes it through in the end and into the loving arms of Plopski. Boomich is down. And oh, I'm a bit worried about Plopski. He could be isolated here, but he's got the support of Nork again. This guy's really good at that complimentary style, but plenty of success is going to keep them worried. Yeah, it does. You're, you're bang on. From the two games or the two maps we've seen so far, you know, we've seen evidence that Nork is always in a position to, to support the weakness. You know, like if there is a, if there is for, for their rifler, he knows his teammates got popped so he can be concerned and prioritize Ivy. 20 seconds, Na'Vi, you're making me nervous here. Where's the bomb? Boomich, okay, there we go. Rez has gone, that was the player, player towards Pop, but look at Hampus, he's quick on the tail. Now they see a little bit more. Plopsy going down though makes this problematic as Hampus and Nork. What? How is Hampus able to do so much right now? These last two players, they actually cut. Oh, Hampus, that is sick work! Absolutely phenomenal. Hampus gets the timing bang on. They're planting open and Na'Vi punished. Aggression. All right, now we're gaming. So's Plopsky charging into Simple's AWP. He's got a partner in crime, and it's the both of them. Simple Electronic immediately seizing control of round seven. We need a difference maker here. Could be very well be Twist. He's got two players, two targets, nothing to report. The spray from Hampus falling flat. Nork under pressure won't be doing much with that. And already the second converted. Seems Na'Vi. All they needed was two opening kills from their star players. Plopsky holding the light. Flash, here he we drops go. that smoke. If they continue to rot this clock, I'm going to scream. Simple's going to flash for him, yeah, right? He's going to hear these pins pulled. Perfecto can, excuse me, who is it? Plopsky can just throw underhand his smoke. He has stacked smoke. five yard here. Oh, this is Ow, weird. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. He, he, get the first. They're locked in. They've got no oh, time. They're green screen. God. This is a nightmare. Somebody needs to put an, a straight up analog clock on Boomich's desk. He didn't even have armor, did he? No, well, they, they were taking a save into this one, those two individuals. There's just pistols behind the, for Rez and Plopsky. So, Nork's rotating towards inner already here, so they will have two players on the B-bomb site. Rez, uh. Rez, Rez. <laughs> okay. Where is he alive? There's three of them there. They had the molly in their hand and an orc, but didn't want to take the shot. But now Twist has drawn blood. Electronic's gone. He's saved from the molly, and they're going to just... No, don't just all in. Don't just go on a smoke. Two here. Ampus can slaughter. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell was that, Hampus? He might have just added that nail to the coffin, banging it down. This is not a good look. Hmm. Just will take that first shot, and he's got Plopsky perfectly positioned to catch the trade. Oh, dear. Simple wasn't ready for that, but it doesn't matter when his precision is on. His game is on. He's taken out. And now with a bomb loose, Hampus retreating. Oh, a fantastic nice. connection. Flamey needed that. That's going to give him space. Looking for the plant. Electronic through the pincer on C. Wait. Safe plant being adopted from Flamey. I like that. He can push deep on that. Oof, the nade was perfectly placed. Oh, they, they, they predicted that. I, I'm impressed that they were still being so aware of it. But it's Flamey in the 1v2. Bomb planted, but he's behind enemy lines, and I like this adjustment. Theorycraft with me, Lauren. He's got 30 HP and no armor. He has to use the time. It can't be his bullets here. He Check needs that bomb. extra teammate, right? A, no, it's not what? enough. I thought that would be enough to call it clear. It was a poor plant for him. Searching, Twist is on the AWP alongside Nork, and their double AWP is one that I often forget, evades the flash perfectly, and he loses a teammate, he loses his life. The coordination, something as simple as a flash push, and now whittling away at Na'Vi. There's very little left. 
Just old Flamey. Flame Dogger descending the ramp and meeting Nork's orc. That's 11. Yeah, twist on the verge of the smoke res is there. They've read it. They positioned, I say, well, oh my God, they got both of them. But Boomich was the additional element. We hadn't had him there before, really. And now he comes online. The last two players hauling ass from B. They are making it over. And regardless, Bomb will be down and not contested. The smoke lasted just long enough to deter Nork. His frag onto Flame is everything here, though. Gets the info. Ampus can deal with it. Oh, but Perfecto's on the bread train Beautiful as well. Made. Moving to green, flash out E-Box, Boomish oh. to burn. They're playing this so well. He can't, he has to move into the art line of fire. Nope, finds a safe haven, covered by the- oh. Ampus, sensational! That's a big win. 18 frags to his name. He has not died. He does not surrender. And Flamey, he's just gonna have to respect it. Flashed off, smoked off, and the plant can happen in a 5v5. We're gonna have a full 5v5 retake if Rez is a little more careful. Charging forward, he wants to take space here, and he's found a gap straight through the connector. It was smoked, he knows he can exploit it. Diving down, in trouble, in jeopardy, oh. and allowed to escape from the suppressing shots of Plopsky. It's still 5v5. I love this aggress, because it almost plays in Twist, potentially. Down the line, we'll see how much damage he can do, but they have to hold them back, and for now, they succeed. Perfecto falls, and Plopsky double dips. Oh. Don't get the best of simple like that. Flamey still stands. Here we go. Rez, tall, large, and in charge on the side, doing the dance. With simple. And again, simple. Still stands a 1v2 oh, now. Oh, that Tags up Hampus. Gets on the bomb, but no hit times. Ticket, he's done for. And this might be Na'Vi done for. I'm beyond worried now. We're getting straight into it, though. It's Na'Vi forced by with their hopes and dreams of an ESL 1 Cologne title, really, in the balance. Okay, info. I guess there's four of them here. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying oh. to find the silver lining, and oh, this it's. This is it. This is done. This it is Th done. This is done because that was a force buy where they've only found one kill. Perfected with a deagle, locked in pop. He can't get into yard. Smoked off. They know his position. They can chase him down. Take that out of his hands. That's the arm of the deagle gone. Next round, the loss bonus, 2,400. What do you do? You're already looking at 15. Do you buy again? Do you go for the first gun round? Do you play for overtime? Do you battle back, knowing? You're only two rounds away from elimination. Here we go. First test. It's got to be incredible. And it's not. It's anything but. It's it's swept away in a moment. Electronic is next in line. Maybe he has a shot at this. Behind the smoke, kept safe for now. The T's continue. Good work towards Nort. To look up more shots. Nabs the rifle. He wants this. He's going to try and tear him apart by himself. A great job on one. Gets over. Zealous tries to dive into them. It's only a 2v2, but bear in mind the rifles, the armor, the bomb. The T's have all of this, and they've got half of the map to themselves. The next gun round is going to be very, very weak. No, nope, they're going for it. Never mind. Oh, shit, it really is an impossible retake. Unless, yeah, Twist got one tapped. Now, Perfecto. Maybe he wants to get that away with that AK. He's made enough audio, and I'm afraid he's really going to be questioned. Rez has to hunt him down. It's Galil upgrade to an AK for him, and wow. NIP look to continue. 16-3. Yeah, this is actually going to be the, the, the biggest stomp we'll have seen Na'Vi concede in some time go. if it finishes here. It may not. Perfecto with just one. That's not going to house them. That's not going to contain them. Passive approach. Nox already got them locked down. The bomb's being planted. And Simple, his rotate is being held. Okay, careful now. Plopsky has the flank. No kid again. Put a bow on it. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Two members of Na'Vi, now just one black and yellow jersey. It's all done. Defending champions dethroned in the group stages. And it's the plucky Swedes, the new look nip, that take the win.